I was born in New Orleans, and I was raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, grew up in a family of, uh, I had six siblings. Uh, I'm the second oldest of seven. I graduated out of high school without taking nothing but general math. And so when I, when I did a little research to understand architecture, that was the first time I connected the dots. I connected the construction with my drawing ability and my, my mother, the art. I was able to connect all that together. And I got real excited because architecture brought all that together for me. But I was able to, to graduate, major in architecture, graduated after five years, it was a five year curriculum. And after five years, I was the most outstanding student in my class. But when I started working for Harvey Gantt's firm, uh, Gantt Huberman Architects, Harvey and Jeff's firm, uh, back in 1985 is when it revived my interest in the profession. Uh, I got real excited about architecture again because they allowed me to work on a variety of different types of projects and I was involved in every aspect of the project. Harvey would always talk to young architects about the value of getting involved in the community and the talent that we have as architects, how that could help, uh, help with public policy. I think he's just done an outstanding job in this community. Not just as a professional, because he, he, you know, he, we think he's been trained very well. Some of that was through our firm and all the years he spent here. Uh, but also as a, as a community person. Dal cares about the community, genuinely cares about that. And that came to the fore in many discussions we had long before he ever offered himself for serving on city committees, county committees, or becoming a commissioner. Darrell Williams really genuinely cared about building community. And that, that's always been with me. Serving the county commission, what that did was it helped me understand how the social challenges in our community intersect with the physical challenge. Daryl spearheaded an um, open space bond for this community that propelled our county to start buying land, preserving land. Um, we worked together on a couple of parks and a couple of them have come to fruition. That's Daryl. You don't let go. You, you just keep going. Um, you don't quit. That's Daryl. Of the 2012 West Trey Street Base for Royal Court and Champion Award will be given at our homecoming um, activities to the Honorable Daryl Waits. And Darryl, I just want to say on behalf of Neighboring Concepts, it is truly an honor. You know, architects don't always have the opportunity to talk during ribbon cuttings. <laughs> so I just want to say how, how I don't take this opportunity for granted. Starting the firm as a non-traditional type of firm so that we could bring the community together, bring people together, help them feel better about where they live, and, and really change and become a much better community and neighborhood. To be a great leader, I think it takes listening, being open-minded, and align others to lead as well. And you can, while you it can be the facilitator, I think it's allowing others to grow and learn and um, not be a micromanager, but being able to, uh, to continue to learn and stay open-minded yourself because you never stop learning. The other thing that I think makes a good leader is being smart enough to hire people that are smarter than you. Um, you know, and understanding that it takes a team to, uh, to be successful. I think the people that works with, with me every day, they are as passionate as I am about the work that we do. We 
we, we never come with any preconceived ideas of what the project ought to be. We try to make sure we understand the history of, the, of, a, of a place uh, and, and understand the culture, the needs, how a space uh, building needs to function. And we try to bring all that together and along with the, the art, the beauty, the science, the technology, we try to bring all that together into a project. Architecture is never neutral. It's either healing or it's, or it's something that's not good. And so we always try to make sure that the projects we get involved in, that they help to heal, help to transform not only the community, but the people that use the facilities. Because it's not really about the buildings, it's really about the people.